Uh, my name is Gary Watts. I was an uh, electrician's mate second class in the, the Navy that was a nuke electrician. He, um, uh, how did I find out about the Power for Vets program? I had uh, attended a job fair and one of the uh, booths that was set up there was the Power for Vets booth. I went over and learned a little bit about it there and went ahead and filled out the application. I spent to, to qualify load dispatcher, it was a, about a year-long process. The uh, qualification included uh, standing drills with an over-instructor watch to uh, make sure you were not breaking anything. As a load dispatcher, you uh, stood watch and on the 4160-volt electric plant. You directed the switchgear operators in uh, plant shifts involving bringing, uh, bringing on new generators, bringing down generators for maintenance. Uh, shifting load around to uh, account for different conditions based on which generators you had available. Uh, obviously the load dispatcher wasn't responsible for every breaker being shifted but the every load center from the 4160 to the 450 volt load centers were under his purview. Uh, none of them were supposed to be energized or de-energized without coordinating with him. Uh, one time when I was standing watch uh, when we pull into ports, we obviously need to shut down our generators so we can do maintenance on them, and so we connect to shore power. The shore power cable is uh, 4160 volts, and it had been a really windy day that day, and it caused the cable to get pinched between the ship and the pier, and it was causing it to ground out, and it was a pretty intense experience because the initial indications was just the lights would start to flicker and some of the meters would uh, give erratic indications and it took us say five ten minutes before we isolated which bus it was on and figured out how we uh, which breaker needed to be tripped to, to drop the shore power without dropping too much of the ship with it. Then we brought on the uh, emergency diesel generators to pick up the load while the uh, shore power cable was repaired. A lot of the fundamentals on the ship still apply in the big, the big picture as far as generators still generate three-phase voltage the same way, and we still have to respect loading limits. The only difference is, is the systems are much bigger in the civilian world. A lot of the initial training is based around running uh, scenarios in the simulator, and for certain things that's been essential in helping me learn it. Uh, just as an example, the phase uh, phase shifting transformers, not something that we ever had to deal with in the Navy. We don't have anything like that. So being able to see uh, something like that in a simulator and see how it affects the uh, overall uh, electric system was, was really beneficial. Yes, initially I was definitely worried about this program being some kind of scam or something shady just to try and leech money out of my GI Bill. Um, but I did some research on the internet and was able to find a couple websites not directly associated with the Inksys or Power for Vets that did mention the program. I found a .gov website talking about the grant money set aside for the Power for Vets program and that definitely uh, made me much much more trusting of the program. I would say any any Navy new vet that wants to get into the power program should get into this program. There's no reason not to. It's it's paid for by, by a government grant. You do the training at your own pace. And for me it's been very fast, but if you don't have the time it's you can take up to six months to get it done. And um, the, there's no if, if Although I wouldn't suggest this, even if halfway through you decide that you can't do the program and it isn't what you're cut out for, there was no obligation to complete the program, and that made me—that's also what made me very confident in uh, getting into the program. Was the there's no risk, only only benefits to be gained. Pretty much uh, all uh, nuke electricians would be really appropriate to to get into this program if this is if this is the field they wanted to get into when they were getting out. I would say it would be good for anyone. Um, getting out really to get into this program. The training involved is really uh, straightforward as far as um, being able to translate what you were doing in the Navy into what you'll be doing in a civilian job. 
I, I started this program about three weeks ago, four weeks ago roughly, and um, I'm getting close to completion of the, uh, the training portion of it, and I'd say within a week, maybe, maybe a little less, I should be ready to take the exam, and then I'll have the certification from there and be ready to go, but uh, I've, been, I've been going at this really fast, too. Uh, at first, it seems like a really great program, and secondly, it's um, I feel the the sooner I can complete this course, the sooner I can uh, start looking for a, a job and apply the skills I've learned in this program. I'd say this program is definitely preparing me for uh, uh, placement in any job associated with this. Um, I'll have the certification done already, so. That's one less thing they would have to pay to uh, train me to get, and I'll be I'll be ready to, to to go much quicker than someone else who might just walk in off the street and try and get the job. Some of the things that have in the Power for Vets program that have been from the training that prepare me, uh, various simulations have been uh, phenomenal. Uh, complete blackout, system islanding. Uh, voltage collapse. Just uh, some of the simulations are based around weather events causing uh, high voltage lines to be taken out of service, and it's been it's been really good to, to raise my awareness of how uh, all the the pieces of the uh, interconnection work together. Uh, it's it's really great. The uh, Palco system. One of the very first trainings they give you is a uh, complete system blackout just to make you aware of what, how quickly it can go bad and how you need to keep your eyes on all of the uh, variables, all the information you have available, the uh, uh, voltage collapses and whatnot. And it's been really good, really good training.